friends welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here my name is Jen I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW personal points happy Wednesday friends it is Wednesday so it is what I eat in a day we have quite the day today as always I started my morning off with my coffee this is four shots of espresso some collagen for her collagen a fit biotic packet from garden of life and an Alani munchies protein shake I do put a protein shake in my coffee every single morning. It's just a great way to start my day off right with a big bang of protein. Plus it tastes absolutely delicious. I just finished getting ready for the day. We have a very, very busy day today. I'll go ahead and insert some footage of the outfit that I have on today. This little summer spring jumper is so absolutely cute and so incredibly comfortable. However, I need to purchase a strapless bra. I do not have one. So that is on my list today is to hop onto Amazon and purchase a good strapless bra because I do have quite a few of these jumpers and sundresses that require a strapless bra. So I'm dressed and I'm ready for the day. The last thing that I have to do to finish off my look, of course, is apply perfume. You guys know how much I love perfume. I wear perfume every single day. I have it in my closet, my office, my purse, you name it. I've got perfume strung out everywhere so that I can smell good all the time. That's really important to me. I've actually always been that way. I've always loved scented lotions and bath gels and perfumes. I just want to smell good all day long. So once again, I picked up a couple more of my dossier fragrances. You guys know I love, love, love this brand. I've shared it so many times here on my channel. What dossier does is they replicate very expensive, very high-end perfumes and they charge an affordable price for basically the exact same fragrance. Anywhere from $29 to $39 per designer replica fragrance. And you can use the code here on the screen as well as piggyback that with any other discount currently happening on the dossier website. And most of the time they do have some specials running and I love that they allow you to actually piggyback those discount codes so that you can save even more money. I just really like the Dossier brand because it's affordable and I find that it smells exactly the same as the high-end perfume for a fraction of the price. I also own several Dossier perfumes and I wanted to share with you the two that I most recently picked up and then we'll decide what fragrance I want to wear today. When you open up the packaging, it is so nice. And speaking of beautiful packaging and Dossier perfume, this would be an amazing, amazing Mother's Day gift for yourself, for your mom, for anybody in your life. Maybe they're a dog mom, it would be a perfect gift gift for Mother's Day. Each perfume is going to come with a card that tells you the name of the perfume, which high-end fragrance it's inspired by, all of the notes, and then the bottle is so absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful glass bottle and one of my favorite features, you guys know, is this magnetic lid that just magnets right on top so the lid never falls off. If I'm going to keep a fragrance in my purse, it's Dossier because of this magnetic lid. It just never falls off, which means that you're not going to have any spillage of your fragrance. So the first one that I picked up is Floral Adelaides, and this is actually inspired by Chanel number no. five. And we know how expensive Chanel is, and this fragrance is so much more affordable. The notes in this are, the top notes are Adeline, Neroli, and Bergamot, so it has a little bit of a fruity floral scent. The middle notes are Lang Lang, Jasmine, and May Rose, and the base notes are Velveteer, Sandalwood, and Oris. I haven't even sprayed these yet. I was waiting to share them with you. Oh, that smells so good. It is fruity, it is floral, and it even has that little bit of muskiness that comes from the sandalwood. 100% smells like Chanel number no. five. Wow. And the other fragrance that I selected was Floral Rhubarb. This is inspired by Marc Jacobs Perfect. The top notes in this fragrance are rhubarb, orange blossom, and peach. So this is definitely more summery fruity, which I think is actually what I'm going to wear today because it kind of goes with my whole vibe. The middle notes of this are Daffodil, Milky, Account, and Narcissus. And the base notes are Cedarwood, Blood, Blonde, Wood, and Musk. Oh my gosh. This is delicious. It is sweet. It is fruity. It is florally. This is absolutely what I'm wearing today. So floral rhubarb inspired by Marc Jacobs Perfect is going to be my fragrance for today. Oh, it 
smell so good. It blows my mind that these are legit replicas of the high-end perfumes for such a more affordable price. So floral rhubarb is today sent from Dossier and I will link Dossier down below for you with a discount code. And remember, you can piggyback that with any other discount on the Dossier website makes a perfect Mother's Day gift. So here's what I'm gonna have for breakfast this morning. It is about 8.20, so I'm going to eat really quickly. Lola, are you interested in my yogurt? Yes, you are. So I'm going to have one of the Oikos protein yogurts. I love these, they have 20 grams of protein. And then I'm adding about a couple tablespoons of the Safe and Fair birthday cake granola to the top. That is such a good combination. And this is the mixed berry yogurt. So here is my breakfast. I'll go ahead and put the points and calories here on the screen for you. I know I'm going to get a few questions on what's on my eyes today. So I wanted to share with you guys that what is on my eyes is the brand new Nomad Paradise Islands palette. This was just released by Nomad Cosmetics. Look at this. Is this not summer in a palette? It is absolutely stunning. The quality is amazing. I get lots and lots of questions about my makeup. So don't forget that I do have a beauty channel. It is called Budget Beauty. I do makeup tutorials. In fact, I just put out a video on this palette on that channel. And that's where you can find in the description box all the makeup that I'm wearing if you want to purchase any of the products. But I fully got ready today because like I mentioned, we have a super, super busy day. I am meeting my realtor that we purchased this house through this morning at Starbucks for coffee. And we're going to talk all about getting my real estate license. So I'm going to actually have some breakfast before I head out to meet Anne Marie. I'll see if she's okay being on camera. And if she is, I'll introduce you guys to her and I'll show you what I order from Starbucks. I'm going to bring my own creamer and I'm going to have basically I'm going to have a second coffee today. We are having a garage door put into our single car garage. We only had a garage door opener in our double car garage, so we're putting one in the single car because that's where Troy parks his Jeep. We also are having some gutters put on my on our house this afternoon in the backyard because we are about to approach monsoon season where it rains off and on like crazy, and we have quite an area in our backyard that pools with water, so we're having a gutter put on. And then Miss Lola has a vet appointment this afternoon, so we have a busy day. I'll take you guys along with me throughout everything. So I'm going to take some of my Chobani, the St. Patty's Day one that I picked up at Sprouts. It shocked me when I poured it out. It's green. Troy says it looks like baby poop, but that is the coffee creamer that I'm going to take with me to put in my coffee at Starbucks. Do you need something? Do you need something? Someone's whining at their dad. So I'm gonna take this with me and I'll show you what I get at Starbucks. to meet Anne-Marie, my realtor for coffee. And we're gonna talk all about me getting my real estate license here in Arizona, what's involved, what school do I go to? How do I look into joining her brokerage? If you didn't know, you can't just arbitrarily have a real estate license. You actually have to be under a brokerage or a managing broker. So you have to join some type of real estate firm. So I'm interested in joining the one that she works for. So I'm going to be getting some information on that brokerage. I brought my coffee creamer. So I'm excited to see her because I haven't seen her since we actually closed on our house. So I did two shots of decaf, one shot of regular, and then I'm going to add in my couple tablespoons of cream. Sorry about the horrible lighting. I just finished coffee with my realtor. And when in Rome, I am right next to both Bell's and TJ Maxx. I'm looking for a pretty tall artificial plant for our little sitting room in our house, which you guys will see in the home tour. So I'm actually going to run into TJ Maxx to see if I can find it. And then I'm also kind of on the hunt for some more summer clothes because I need quite a few new clothes. As you know, a lot of mine don't fit. In fact, I need to kind of go through my closet again. I actually just placed an order on Shein and I'm thinking I might do a haul. So if you guys are interested in a Shein try on haul, let me know down in the comments and I may include that here on my channel. But let's go into TJ Maxx and see what we can find. TJ 
this was a bit of a bust. I ended up not really liking either of those plants. I think I want something super tall. So I'm gonna walk next door to Bell's just to see what they have. So this is the only one they have and I don't love it. And it's $60. I think I may be making a trip to Hobby Lobby. So here's what I'm gonna have for lunch today. My mother-in-law made these when they came over to watch the Masters. They're really, really good. They're little endive lettuce leaves and then she made a chicken salad that has grapes and walnuts and celery and green onion. Super, super, super good. So I'll put here on the screen how many I ate. They are, as you can see, pretty small. And then I'm actually going to have the Yellow Chirp Built Puff. These are so good. They're the little mini Built Puffs. They have like a lemon white chocolate coating and a marshmallow inside. They are still available on the website, so I'll link Built Bar down below with 10% off and free shipping for you if you're interested. They are super good. I'll show you guys too what they look like, but that is going to be my lunch for today. So here's what the little Built Puffs look like. They're so good. You can see that kind of lemony, sugary coating. They're small, but they're super satisfying and just a great little sweet treat that ha has some protein. Mommy just finished her lunch. Do you guys need something? Do you need something? I know what you think you need. Yes, I do. All right, here we go. Treat for you. Treat for you. And treat for you. My Imperfect Foods order is here and let me tell you how excited I am that I can still get Imperfect Foods in Arizona because you guys know I absolutely love the company. I love the mission. What Imperfect Foods is, is foods that grocery stores either have an overstock or produce that's misshapen that they would otherwise throw away and you're able to buy it at a discount and have it delivered to your doorstep. I will link in Perfect Foods down below. When you sign up, you get $20 worth of free groceries and there is no minimum order. So take your $20 and run, but try in Perfect Foods out. It's such a great cause and such a great price for product. So the first thing that I ordered this week is this really pretty flower bouquet. I'm liking having fresh flowers out on my island in my new house. And you don't really know what type of flowers that you're going to get, but this one is really pretty with those big red Gerber daisies. I also ordered some produce. Look at how huge these onions are. These are bulb onions. They are spicy sweet onions. I really like them for cooking. I also picked up some organic mushrooms because we both really, really love mushrooms. And some organic green beans. Fresh green beans are the best. I love to throw these in my steamer basket with a little bit of butter, salt, pepper, and even some bacon bits. Such a good vegetable side. I also grabbed a pack of Simply Mints for me so that I have some breakfast mints in my car and these ones actually have nice clean ingredients and I've heard really really good things about these Bobo's bars so this is the lemon and poppy seed I just ordered one so that I could try it it's super super soft it's an oatmeal based breakfast bar and under this piece of cardboard here and packed really really well is a big refrigerated bag with an ice pack so if you order dairy or meat it always comes nice and cold and if it's frozen it stays frozen throughout the entire ship process. Next is some fresh peanut butter. They have the best fresh ground peanut butter and almond butter. Super affordable. I think this was less than $3. And you know I love Partake cookies. I love them. And I saw that they had lemon. And I'm pretty sure this is a limited edition flavor. So of course I had to pick it up to try it. And everything else that's cold is tucked nicely in the bag with the ice pack. Also these cookies are delicious. I thought that I could put these out when my in-laws come over. These are sea salt chocolate chocolate chunk cookies. They're really good. They remind me of really expensive bakery cookies. That's how good of quality they are. This is my very favorite non-fat Greek yogurt. This is grass-fed Greek yogurt. It is such good quality. Tastes nice and creamy. It actually reminds me a lot of a full fat yogurt, even though it is non fat. Two boxes of a little mini cheesecake bites. Troy loves these, and I saw that they had them again, so I went ahead and grabbed him two boxes. I share these a lot. This is one of my very favorite cheeses. These are the Fontina Snacking Cheese. I think it's maybe a Gouda cheese. It's so good, it's super, super soft. Great source of protein, great snack. Wrapped in bubble wrap with a band around it were my eggs. These are the Imperfect Foods pasture-raised organic eggs, really, really good quality eggs. 
excellent price. I thought I'd quickly show you, there's the ice pack. So everything is nice and cold. So again, that is my Imperfect Foods order. I do get an order every two weeks. And don't forget to check out the link down below for $20 worth of free groceries. I am working away in my office. I am taking Lola to the vet here in about two hours, but I'm going to have a snack. Since I won't be making dinner until we get home from the vet, it'll be a little bit later. So I'm actually going to have one serving of the Back to Nature crackers that is five crackers these are really really good and I just really want some hummus so I'm going to have the private selection roasted red pepper hummus this is a Kroger brand Fred Meyer brand fries brand so this is going to be my little afternoon snack little miss Lola and I are headed to the vet she actually has a vet appointment at 4 30 it's about four o'clock so we're heading to Green Valley she's been limping pretty regularly for the last couple of months so I want to get that checked out we just really want to establish care at the vet for her it's the same vet diesel goes to and then next in line we'll take Palmer to get care established as well it's really windy but Lola is at the vet for the first time she's not sure what to think usually she tries to go right back out the door once we go in hi baby way home from the vet we did a complete full panel of blood work because Lola has never really had blood work so we did an entire comprehensive panel she is also 10 ish pounds overweight so we want to check and make sure that she doesn't have a thyroid issue before we go on a calorie restricted diet we want to check everything and make sure that it isn't relating to her thyroid and because she's a little bit older they wanted to do a full blood panel it is not cheap we actually did the same thing with diesel they were able to get a urine sample which ended up being a really good thing because she has a severe urinary tract infection very severe so she was prescribed antibiotics which we're going to start tonight so she's doing better now but yeah we're really glad I'm really glad I took her to the vet I'm glad they were able to get urine so that we knew that she had the urinary tract infection and she'll be well on her way to whatever medication she needs for dinner tonight, I am making creamy lemon chicken with garlic. We're going to have this with some instant mashed potatoes, and we have some leftover roasted vegetables, squash, zucchini, asparagus in our refrigerator that we need to eat up, so that's going to be our veggie side. So let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need chicken, and my recommendation would be thin sliced because we are actually pan frying this recipe, and it just cooks a little bit more evenly, more thoroughly, quicker with thin sliced chicken. You'll need minced garlic, whether it's fresh or in a jar. You'll need some chicken broth, salt and pepper, light butter, dill, you can use dried or fresh, lemon juice, fresh or actual, the little plastic lemon, and then of course, some whole milk. We're going to be pairing that with these Idahoan roasted garlic mashed potatoes. They're actually really, really delicious. And again, we'll serve that with a side of leftover vegetables. So the first thing we're going to do is season our chicken with some salt and pepper. We actually want to season both sides really well. We're going to add about a tablespoon of oil to a large skillet. Once your oil gets nice and hot, we're going to go ahead and add all three pieces of chicken. We're going to cook the chicken for about eight to 10 minutes or until it is nice and browned on both sides. And then we'll go ahead and remove it from the pan and put it on a plate and set it aside. Once you remove the chicken, you're going to add one cup of chicken broth to the pan to deglaze it and get off those yummy bits on the bottom. We're going to add a big scoop of minced garlic and some fresh lemon juice. If you didn't know, I have two lemon trees in my backyard, so I'm loving getting fresh lemons for my water and for fresh lemon juice. And we have an overabundance of lemons. 
We're going to go ahead and bring this to a boil over medium heat, and we're going to allow the chicken stock to actually reduce by about 50%. So it's going to take approximately 10 minutes. Once half of your chicken broth is gone and the pan is deglazed, we're going to add two tablespoons of light butter and one quarter cup of whole milk. Go ahead and stir that until the milk in and butter are fully combined and melted in with the chicken broth. Now we're going to add our chicken back in and allow it to warm completely through. And while that is happening, we will get started on our mashed potatoes. The chicken is looking delicious and I went ahead and added four cups of water to my saucepan. We'll let this come to a boil and then we'll add in the potatoes. I actually don't use the butter that the recipe calls forever and I don't really notice any difference. So we'll add in the potatoes and then I'll serve up dinner and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my dinner for tonight. So I have some of the leftover roasted zucchini and asparagus. We have one of the creamy lemon and dill chicken. I did go ahead and sprinkle some dill right on top and then half of a cup of the potatoes. You can see that there's quite a bit of sauce on the chicken. So I plan on maybe adding a little more to the potatoes or mixing those together to get some of that yummy creamy lemon sauce. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. Tonight's dessert is one of my brookies that I made in meal prep. These are so good. They're stuffed with the Reese's peanut butter cup. Such a perfect decadent dessert. Just self tanned after my shower. I'm eating my dessert, and that's going to finish out today's What I Eat in a Day. So, if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I'd love to have you here. And don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. Happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you all in my next video.